Is this some kind of collector or what? Here's something. Wait, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's... That's human skin! Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm, oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We still ain't Doran. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? I didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko? Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. And I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> On here for fuck's sake. Are you nuts? He's he's setting us up. This fucking pilgrim is framing us. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? O of what? You cut the tattoo from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death? Or when he was still alive? You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't. But your crazy brother? Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to aid her. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skin Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me. This is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. That seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here. Ready to get me to the center? I'll tell you everything when you get here. Hurry up. This PK is restricted access. <laughs> Just talk to the Bulgarian. This is madness, Sophie. The peacekeepers have more weapons. Men. They will crush us like worms. Ator may have more men, but we have the home field advantage. 
Home field advantage? You're crazy. I forbid it. While I lead the bazaar, no one will attack the peacekeepers. You no longer lead the bazaar. What? You're no leader, Carl. Never were. We lost people because of you. Crystals. You almost got yourself killed. My mother wanted a free bazaar, not slaves serving the peacekeepers. I want to restore peace here. You can help me with this, or leave. Roger, Humphrey, arrest them. What are you doing? They want to betray the bazaar. Roger! You have no power anymore, Carl. You want to be like your mother? You'll have blood on your hands, Sophie. A lot of blood. Carl is right. We don't stand a chance in open battle. Sophie? What the... Therefore, we're gonna weaken them first. What do you mean? We'll cut off their main source of electricity. Without UV lamps, Ador can't defend his base. They will be driven from the metro tunnels and cut off from the armory. How does all this get me to the central loop? Once Ador is weakened, he will retreat for reinforcements. Then you can make it to the central loop, Aiden. But first, we have to blow up the windmill. And fast, before Ador gets wind of what we're planning. Barney, gather our people. Be ready. Roger and Humphrey, go to the armory, provide weapons to anyone capable of fighting. And you, Aiden, go to Alberto and Vincenzo. They'll walk you through the plan. Okay. Community and freedom, Aiden. Together, we will win. This new armor of yours is flimsy. More fit for a beetle than people. Yeah, way too thin. Fierstein! Peter shows a great protection! This is top craftsmanship made from the finest quality materials. Built from. Ah. Ah. Uh oh, I can almost see the steam pouring from his ears. Look out! <laughs> He's gonna blow! <laughs> titanium. We reinforce the armor with titanium we pulled from the scrapyard. That's why they're lighter, and better protection. You guys shouldn't be such dicks. Well, why didn't he just say so? We'll see. Thanks, Vincenzo. You didn't have to. It was nothing, Dad. Ah. As for you, those two oafs took the last titanium vests. No, I'm not here for armor. Sophie sent me. You're supposed to bring me in on some plan? The plan? My plan? Carl agreed? Carl agreed! You hear that, Vincenzo? Not Carl. Sophie. You gonna share or do I have to guess? Windmill. We take down the windmill. Bingo! The big windmill that provides power to the PK headquarters. But first, we need the charges that Jack and Joe left at the water tower. Hmm? Would you bring them to us, Pilgrim? After we blow it up, all the UV lamps in the PK headquarters will go out. That'll allow the infected to attack them. Hmm? Old Villador will be free again. And you, you have a clear route to, uh, uh, you know, the past chemical fallout and to, uh, uh, What's it called? The Central Loop? The Central Loop! Right! How do you know the PK will withdraw and not retaliate? Because Dad designed this windmill. He knows it like the back of his hand. And it's the PK base's only power source. Without it, the PKs won't last another night in Old Villador. But we must act fast before the peacekeepers catch wind of our plans. So. You win? Okay, so the windmill powers all the PK's UV lamps? Yes, it does indeed. A lot of people will die. 
Only if the PK don't turn tail and head back to where they belong. They stole that windmill from us. It was ours. Lucas and his men, they... When they came, they... Ah! Ah! Damn it! Took, took it. it. Exactly. They took it. Without electricity, Ator can't keep anyone here. We have generators, smaller power sources. They need a large power source. They'll have to withdraw. And before they return with backup from the central loop, we'll block the tunnel ourselves. Their commander, Jack Matt, is not going to risk fighting in the dark with the infected and renegades at his back. Old Villador will be ours again, and you will go to the center. All right, fine. I'll do it. Okay. Go to the water tower. We're going to use the charges that Jack and Joel tried to blow it up with. Let me know once you get there. What are you waiting for? Whoever carved the skin off the commander is a servant. They've been searching us for weapons. Found our molotovs and went ape shit, slaughtering everyone in sight. Looks like someone set us up. Who? And where are the bombs for Alberto? We managed to send some out. The couriers last reported near Star Square. Then silence. Alberto, the charges are gone. I'm going to the Star Square. That was their last check-in. Exactly. Aiden? Yeah. Be careful. Someone sold us out. Find the, the charges. Without them, the plan cannot proceed. Doing what I can. I'll be in touch. Some fight. The PKs ambushed your transport. 
We searched everyone and everything. Eventually, they found the bomb. Someone tipped them off. And they took everything? Dunno. Suddenly, something scared them off. And what? Where are the charges? Hey! Um... They were in the yard. Come on. Maybe they didn't steal all of them. Lucky few of the infected showed up. Everyone scattered. Probably leaving the bombs behind. Don't know why they didn't steal them. They were right under their noses. Morons. <laughs>
Where's your father? He should be here soon. Aiden, may I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. How did you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Well, I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? <laughs> to find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet. But I might be close. I hope you succeed. I never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. Because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create the vaccine here. It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after, he went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No. But, based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. What did she say? Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. <coughs> His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests. But they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. There you are. Only two? The PKs took the rest. Damn, damn and triple them. Because of that traitor, our plan is in danger. We must act quickly. No, oh, nitrates. We need fertilizer. Then we can make more explosives. The old night runners, they've got everything. And certainly all we'll need to make more bombs. I know a guy lives on a rooftop. Friend, foe, uh, depends. Killian, you know him. What, Hakon's friend, Killian? Yes, Killian. I'll explain how to... Uh, how to... Uh, uh, I know the way, thanks. Still here? Are you crazy? Get to Killian! 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 It's Aiden! You there? Killian!
nightmares, Hakon. Back then, everyone must have thought, bingo. Alberto, I have your fertilizer. It's Vincenzo. Vincenzo? I, I can barely hear you. The PK is in. They raided my place. I can't talk. The traitor, he sold us all out. Hayden, Dad, went ahead to the windmill. Meet him there. I'll meet you when I can. Just make sure that fertilizer gets to my dad. Okay, I'll do my best. Just come quick. I think that's a good idea. We have no choice, Aiden. Hurry, please. This plant means everything to my dad. I don't know if you noticed, but dad's kind of awkward and unappreciated. This is a chance to show Carl, Sophie, everyone at the bazaar that they were wrong. What dad's made of, what he can do. He'll be the hero of the bazaar after this one. He always wanted to do something big. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Judah. Hello? <laughs> Vincenzo? Hello? Vincenzo, I, I can't hear you. No, working. You have to. What? What do I have to do? I brought the fertilizer. Are you sure you got this? Of course I'm sure. And if I don't know something, I can ask Vincenzo. Ah, the windmill's causing too much interference. The radio doesn't work. Ah. Then I'll figure it out myself. It's as easy as pie. And you're certain? He explained everything to me. Relax. We'll do. Me and you will do. <laughs> no reason we won't do just. And Fine. Like I said, easy as pie. The bombs are ready. You're up. Take the charges and secure them to the spots Vincenzo marked for us. Planting bombs. Oh, what could go wrong? Easy as pie, right? Yes, precisely. Like I said, easy as pie. 